Hey hello guys this is Karthik from executeautomation.com and welcome to general video series of execute automation channel so in this video we're going to talk about distributed testing android using spoon so spoon is one of the open source tool which is available in the market developed by square.io a company which is a open source company which develop a lot of tools not just for android but also for various different languages and applications so they have developed a tool called spoon and which is used for distributing instrumentation tests to all your androids so before watching this part i would request you to watch part 10 of android automation with robotium video series since in this part we're going to use one of the application which we developed in that part and also we're going to use some of the code which we written in part 10 of that particular video series for working the same in our spoon implementation as well okay so how it looks like in exit automation video channel of youtube so this is the uh, exit automation channel android automation with robotium video series and here in part 5 and part 6 we developed the android native application and we also wrote a code in part 10 to execute a test case for the application which we developed so we are going to use the same code and the same application in our spoon implementation as well but here we're going to add some more line of code to make it understandable by spoon to perform certain operation right so i will just quickly show you how it works and how it looks like so let me flip to the slide so spoon so android's ever expanding ecosystem of devices creates a unique challenge to testing applications and Spoon aims to simplify this task by distributing instrumentation test execution and displaying the results in a meaningful way. And Spoon makes existing instrumentation tests more useful using the application's APK and instrumentation APK and Spoon runs these tests on multiple devices simultaneously. So meaning we are going to run a distributed test using Spoon and also we are going to use the same test case which we already wrote in our existing test cases but adding a little lines of course and we're going to generate a static html summary using the spoon test runner so i will talk more about spoon test runner and spoon client library etc in few minutes so let's start a demo and i will show you how it looks like so for that i'm going to flip to eclipse so this is the project which we worked in our part 10 of our Android app automation with the Robotium video series. And here, this is the code which we wrote, but rather I have added some more line of code here, as you can see, the spoon dot screenshot of solo dot get current activity. And there is a tag called initial underscore state. So these are a new lines of code added here. And similarly, spoon screenshot, spoon screenshot, and similarly there is one more two more spoon screenshot as well that's it so these are the five or six lines of code i have added so basically i want to take a screenshot of the application which i'm going to run during the execution i also want to see how it behaves in different devices so that is the main concept of the spoon, spoon implementation itself i want to run the test in a distributed fashion and see how things works right so for bringing this spoon it's again coming from the square com.squareapp.spoon.spoon so this is nothing but a client library which is coming from the spoon jar file so as you can see here i have added the spoon a jar file in the calculator application so if you go to the properties and go to the java build path and you can see there is a spoon client jar file which i have added as a dependency this you can download from the square.io website so this is the square.github.io slash spoon so this is the url and then you can just hover down and you can see there is two jar files available and one is runner and another one is client so this client is actually responsible for you to, to add codes in your project like this right and the runner is responsible for running the test so we'll talk about runner in a minute right so i have just added some of the screenshots for our test and all i'm going to do is just to take a screenshot before how it looks like when i start running the test and then i also want to take a screenshot before entering the text and before entering text 2 and also i want to see how option button looks like 
while I click the multiply radio button and after clicking the multiply radio button and also I want to see how the final show looks like after performing all the operations. So I want to take a screenshot of all the states of my application while I'm running in a different and distributed environment. So for that I'm already running two Android emulators. One is the Visual Studio emulator for Android and one more is the Android's emulator which, which ships with SDK. So for that I'm going to press Control Windows left arrow so this will bring me up to a new desktop and here this is the two emulators which i'm running and i'm also running a command prompt here so as you can see these are the two devices currently i'm running and i want to just see how it works in these two devices so for that i want to run the spoon runner so for doing that as you can see in my oops I'm sorry, it's just the Linux version I'm just typing. So if you see the files which I have, I have already copied the calculator.apk file, which is nothing but our applications apk file, this one, and also the calculator test apk file, which is responsible for this particular code. So I have copied these two APK files. So for running the test in Spoon, you need to have the actual applications APK file and also you need to have the calculator test APK file which has this particular test case which you are going to execute. Right? So these two files are required. The calculator.apk and calculator test.apk files. So without these two APK files, Spoon cannot recognize the test and can run in multiple machines. So these two APK files are super important. So make sure that you have these two APK files as well, right? Because this code actually has the screenshot stuff and everything which you have written in the code. So which is pretty understandable and straightforward, right? So you need to have this calculator test.apk and the calculator.apk file. So I have copied these two APK file in the lips folder of my machine and I have the spoon runner jar file as well and this is again I have downloaded from the spoon website from here right so these two are there so the very super simple command for executing this test is this java space hyphen jar and the jar file for running the test which is nothing but the runner so the spoon runner this is the jar file and you have to type double slash apk which indicates the apk of your calculator and you need to also specify the test apk file this is nothing but double slash i'm sorry it's not double slash it is uh double hyphen test hyphen apk calculate test dot apk so if you type this particular string alone which is pretty much enough for running a distributed test in your multiple emulators and also the physical device if it is connected into your machine so currently i have not connected any physical device so i'm going to show you in these two emulator alone so once you run this particular test you can see a magical html file which is generated automatically with a spoon and which is pretty neat and decent so we'll first try to run this test so for that i'm just going to hit enter and you can see that it will start a uh, instrumentation test on these two devices right and you can see that first it's going to execute in my this particular device and it's going to type the test and also perform the operation super fast and then it's going to go to the next device which is nothing but our android's sdk stuff uh, which is pretty slow All right, so it opened the application and it's going to type the value there and also it's going to perform the operation as expected. Oops, I think because of the slow performance, uh, it has just closed the test, I think so. But before executing the test, it just stopped. So let's quickly see how the report looks like. So for that, I'm going to again press Control Windows, left key, 
and then let's go to the lip folder and you can see there is a new folder created called spoon output and if you go here see these things i have not created by, by myself and it is created by the spoon so i'm going to open this particular file all right and you can see there are two devices listed so test is actually my android sdk device and vs emulator for 5.0 kitkat is actually my visual studio emulator for android device right and uh, let's go to the green one first and let's see how it looks like see it's pretty neat and clean pictures it's, it's automatically showing you and you can actually animated gif file as well and it will show you how it looks like so it's going to show you see i'm not doing anything right now it just shows you what it happens when it runs the test so this is the screenshot it has taken and if you hover your mouse here it will show you the initial state before text one before text two before multiply radio button after multiply radio button final show so these are the text which you entered in the code right here right so it's coming up automatically for you and also you can see the device log as well super cool right so let's go back to see the failed device stuff and it says that JUnit framework assertion failed error with blah 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 I don't know why if we open the device log it says that uh, there is some problem with the add test case and it throw a exception as well so let's try to run this test once again and see how it works because it was working fine for me all right so i'm going to once again run this test and see how it looks like so again it's going to run the test first in the visual studio emulator for android and it executed very quickly now we should execute the test in the android sdk emulator which is nothing but our test emulator all right it opened the application and this time it's entering the value and also it performs the operation perfectly as expected great and now let's wait for this test to complete okay it's done and now if we go back and see the report in our spoon output it automatically refreshes for you so you don't have to worry about that all right see now both the test got passed and if i go to the test for this particular stuff it's just coming up as expected and if we see the device log right now it's perfect and also it shows you how much time it took to execute this test and it took 12 seconds to run this particular test and for this guy it took only six seconds so again it proves that visual studio emulator is much faster than android's out of the box emulator awesome so this is how you can perform the distributed test using spoon in your android devices so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day